Howdy everybody, welcome to yet another video. This time I'm taking a deep dive into an iceberg I made about an American company called Ad Cancel. I was originally just going to do like a history video of Ad Cancel, but I thought, nah, let's do something different. Let's just do an iceberg about this company instead. Because the more I thought about it, there's so many well-known and so many obscure Ad Cancel PSAs out there. So I thought it'd be a smart idea to plank it into an iceberg. But before I get into the iceberg, I want to explain who Ad Cancel are and what an Ad Cancel does. Basically, a long story short is that AdCancel is a non-profit organization that was founded in 1942 that produces and distributes public service announcements. AdCancel has partnered with many companies in the past and currently to get their message across to viewers, and I will talk about that more within the entries in the iceberg. Tier 1. Smokey Bear PSAs. This is a PSA campaign telling the viewer that only you can prevent forest fires, and is without a doubt the company's most well-known campaign. Probably ever out of any other campaign in the world. This campaign in particular started in 1942 when the US government lost the rights to use Bambi in their fire safety PSAs. After losing the rights, Smokey Bear was finally created in 1944 and the long running slogan of the campaign, Only You Can Prevent Forest Fires, was created in 1947. There's literally so many different Smokey Bear PSAs. Some are good and deliver the message in a well done way, and there are other PSAs such as a PSA where Smokey raps about forest fires. But there's no doubt about how much of an impact these PSAs have made on people as it's still running almost 80 years after the campaign started. Vince and Larry. Literally about the thousandth time I've talked about Vince and Larry, but hey, let's do it again. So this is a PSA campaign and all about getting people to buckle up, as only 14% of people in 1985 actually buckled up. Both Jim Ferguson and Joel Machak came up with the idea to create two crash test dummies that love doing their job of being a crash test dummy. This idea came after they were thinking of making the PSAs more disturbing where the dummies were being dragged into cars to get into crashes. They ended up making the campaign more lighthearted, and honestly, that's why I believe this campaign is remembered so fondly. This campaign ran for 12 years starting in 1985 and ending in 1997 with the PSA called Backseat Baby, and it proved to be very successful and probably one of the most successful campaigns of all time. It spawned a toy line from Tyco, which actually caused a lot of controversy because the PSA campaign was still running as the toys were released in 1991, and some TV stations even stopped airing the PSAs because of the toy line. A pilot for a TV series that didn't go anywhere was made, and a fun fact about the pilot, it would have been the first CGI animated TV show if it became a full series. Microff. Microff the Crime Dog is a series of PSAs that started back in 1981 and mainly had PSAs about, well, crimes. Adore. Most well known in this series is about kids talking to strangers, where Microff tells us that 60 kids disappear every day in the US and that you shouldn't talk to strangers because they might have intentions of kidnapping you. I've mentioned quite a few times that even family have made fun of this PSA where Brian becomes Microff's sidekick. I'd cancel actually did make quite a few PSAs of McGruff all the way through the 80s and 90s. The series is still around today, and there is a McGruff the Crime Dog YouTube channel, but they seem to have separated from Ad Cancel at one point. Also, the most recent appearance of McGruff is in the Chip and Dale movie as he shows off as a background character on one of the scenes, and that's quite interesting. Crying Indian Crying Indian is a PSA released in 1970 where a man is in a boat in a river sailing along the river. We see as he's going through the river that more and more rubbish is showing up in the water, and then we see many different buildings in the background as he's settling past them. The man arrives on shore with a bunch of rubbish on the sand as he's walking off his boat. A narrator comes in to say, Some people have a deep abiding respect for the natural beauty that was once this country. And some people don't. When the narrator says that, the man sees someone litter out of their car. As the rubbish lands at the man's feet, we see him shed a tear. A booklet comes on screen saying 71 things you can do to stop pollution. Then the campaign Keep America Beautiful comes up. People really praise this PSA so highly as like one of the best PSAs of all time and I really just don't see it. It's okay, but Eddie Cancel has honestly made better PSAs than this one. Friends Don't Let Friends Drive Drunk A PSA campaign that was mainly popular in the late 90s but actually started back in the 70s is all about showing the horrible effects that drunk driving can have on people. There are quite a few of these PSAs and the most well-known ones being Lauren Cox and Jessalyn Rose. Both PSAs have home video footage of a victim of drunk driving who doing normal activities before the accident that caused them to die. Text always comes up about 10 seconds into the PSA explaining what happens, such as in the Lauren Cox PSA which is about a baby. The text in that PSA explains that Lauren died by a drunk driver on April 1st of 1993 in Louisville, Texas, as well as her parents. There are a few others such as PSA having glasses smash into each other as the campaign comes up to the end, and even a Star Wars PSA released in 1979 set in Moss Eisley Cantina from A New Hope. The Star Wars PSA is so strange because if you're making a PSA about drunk driving, the one thing you shouldn't do is make your main characters aliens? It's just so strange. Love has no labels. 
Love Has No Labels is a 2015 PSA that takes place on Valentine's Day, where there's a massive X-ray set up with people in different races, orientations, and religions going behind it. Each time the people come out of the X-ray, it will say things like Love Has No Labels, Love Has No Religion, Love Has No Race, and so on. The PSA was actually a pretty big deal when it was released, as not many PSAs really talk about just loving people for who they are, and not judging someone for their beliefs and other things. Tier 2. Stroke PSAs. So this is yet another series of PSAs, but this PSA is released in 2004. All of the PSAs have some celebrity if it's Michael Clark Duncan, Don Rickles or Sharon Stone, and they all play the part of being the physical embodiment of a stroke. They all talk about how no one likes them and how they like to attack people no matter who they are, and they all come out to say that they're a stroke. In all the PSAs, each actor makes strokes look really threatening with the way they're acting and talking to the viewer. And it's pretty well done. PSAs a series of PSAs released in 2002, obviously talking about the attacks that occurred on the 11th of September in 2001. Some of these PSAs are trying to lift people's spirits after what happened, and in one of them, there are many different people saying, I'm American. There's another one that's actually meant to be kind of disturbing, and it's quite strange as it starts off in a church with a funeral, as the priest says, be careful going home. We see that it was all taking place in someone's basement as they're all leaving. The text, what if America wasn't America, and then freedom, appreciate it, cherish it comes up. So yeah, some of them were quite disturbing, but I really do like the ones that try to make people proud of being an American, instead of just scaring them. Also, the whole What If America Wasn't America was a campaign that aired in 2002 that all followed the same idea, trying to show the viewer scenarios where people don't have normal freedoms that they do in America. Child Car Safety Child Car Safety is a 2010s PSA trying to tell the viewer about child safety in the car, talking about things like booster seats. In the PSA, a car's driving down a road as a narrator is asking, are your children in the right car seat for their age and size? Is the seat supposed to be forward-facing or rear-facing? This keeps going on until one car flips on its side and goes straight for the camera as the narrator says, It may be too late to check when you're on the road. That car looks so fake. It literally looks like green screen footage you just download off of YouTube and they put it in this PSA. But the narrator then says, Fortunately, you're on the couch. Car crashes are a leading killer of children 1 to 13. Don't think you know know you know all i can say is just why like vincent larry made child safety seat psa's much better than this one so why even make this one an unlocked gun could be the death of your family a series of psa's that came out in the 2000s i'm not sure but the psa's are right to tell people to make sure to lock up their guns so kids don't get access to those guns the most well-known one in this campaign is by far the i didn't mean to shoot daddy's gun psa where a kid tells a story about how he accidentally shot his brother in the stomach there are other PSAs that follow the same kind of structure, such as one called Kaylee, where in that one, a girl narrating the PSA accidentally killed her baby sister after finding a gun in the drawer. Shit, this one's really dark, and in my opinion, this one's more effective than the I didn't mean to shoot daddy's gun one. Get Up Get Up is a 2007 PSA that was released around the time Shrek the Third released, and in this PSA we see various characters from the Shrek universe interact with kids to tell them to get out and play for at least an hour a day. It's mainly Donkey telling them to get out of play as kids go to a playground and play. You also see the other Shrek characters playing on the playground with them. We even get to see Puss in Boots busting a move and then at the end of the PSA, Shrek tells the viewer to gap and play for an hour a day as he gets hit in the head by a frisbee. The weirdest part about this PSA is both Eddie Murphy and Mike Myers are voicing their respected characters in this PSA. It's not someone trying to imitate their voices, which is usually the most common thing in ads like this. It's actually them voicing their characters. Online Predators this is a 2000s PSA all about predators that may be lurking online, and in the PSA we hear a man that's meant to be a predator talking about how it's pretty easy to meet a teen girl online by just going into a random online chat group and just talking. We see a girl as the man says, Most of the girls are usually so insecure and desperate for- But as he says attention, the girl talks about how- Attention from older guys is totally flattering. They're so much more mature and understanding than the guys men- The predator continues and says that- Age actually works to my advantage. They like to brag to their friends that they're dating an older guy, so I just play along and pretend I'm really- The girl then talks about how they- Interested in the same things I am. You can talk forever and really get to know someone without worrying about looks or whatever. That's the best thing about- The predator talks about how- Chatting seems unthreatening to them, so they lower their guard. After a while, I start talking about how we're soulmates and how lucky we are to have found each- And the girl says that- Other people don't understand. I know what I'm doing. If you really care about each other, there's nothing wrong with it. We then see the predator as he talks to the viewer about how meeting them is the goal, and that things get interesting when they meet them. An narrator talks about how online predators know what they're doing, as the text don't believe the type comes up. See more smoke. 
See more Smoke is a PSA about smoke detectors released in 1996 that even has Gilbert Gottfried voicing the smoke detector. In the PSA, we see kids in a kitchen as a toaster is smoking. The smoke detector is coughing and the kids look up to ask who the smoke detector is. Seymour Smoke introduces himself and talks about how the more smoke he sees, the more noise he makes, and he says that he sees more smoke coming from the toaster. The kids realize that they left toast in the toaster that's actually causing the smoke, and the kids thank Seymour for telling them. But Seymour says that it's his job, and that he makes this certain noise when he sees it. And let me say, that moment's horrifying. Seymour ends the PSA by asking the viewer how many smoke detectors the viewer has in the house, and that you should count them, and that a smoke detector should be sitting right outside your bedroom. Word pictures. A 1989 PSA has words like dumb, pathetic, and stupid written on a piece of paper by a child displayed on the screen as kids are saying things like, You're pathetic, you little brass. The narrator comes in to say, Child abuse is also known by some other words. The narrator comes back in to say, Words like these can hit as hard as a fist. A pretty simple PSA, but I quite like it as it's effective. Camping. Camping is a PSA about. Well, honestly, I have no idea besides it having something to do about teachers telling better stories than everyone else. It's strange, but the PSA has people at a campfire as one person asks a lady how's work going. She then goes on about some story about an outbreak of a virus and that eventually all the living were dead by the time they learned a lesson about how quickly viruses spread. For real, can someone please explain to me what the hell this PSA is actually meant to be about? I really don't know. Can someone please help? The text. A 2009 PSA shows a car accident as a person in the accident narrates about how they wish they could go back and change it all. We then see that he was texting as he was driving and he says, I would. I would. We then see different things happening in his life as he's talking about how he wishes he could go back and change it all. And in the scenarios, everyone else just stares at him at the end of each scenario. The PSA ends with a shot of his eyes as he says he can't change what has happened. Family Violence Prevention Fund. A series of two PSAs made in collaboration with the Family Violence Prevention Fund was released sometime during the 90s. The two PSAs are called Neighbours and Stairs. In the Neighbours PSA, it follows a couple in bed as they can hear a couple arguing in the apartment above them. We then hear that the woman is being abused as the couple in bed don't do anything about it and try to go to sleep. After this, text fades in saying that it is your business. In the Stairs PSA, it follows a kid sitting at the top of the stairs as they're listening to their parents argue. We then hear that the father starts to abuse the mother because the father didn't get any pizza. In this PSA, we only see the kids' faces of watching in shock about the whole situation. The PSA ends with the text, children have to sit by and watch. What's your excuse? I mentioned previously that some devious little devil tried to pretend that this PSA was on the VHS tape for TMNT, like the first Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. Fight Back and Win Fight Back and Win is a 2002 PSA about fair housing, and in the PSA we see a nice house as text comes up saying this could be a home of your dreams with calm music playing. The PSA then goes on to say that it's a nice neighborhood with the right schools and safe streets, until the text but you'll never see it comes up. The music changes to be more unsettling, and then the text if you're not the right race comes up as the narrator says that Racial steering is illegal. If you think you've been a victim, call the National Fair Housing Alliance. We'll respond within 24 hours and help you take action. T3. National Guard and Reserve. This is a PSA campaign that was running during the 80s and 90s, saying that the National Guard and Reserve are an important group and that if people are going to help the country, companies that the people are employed to should let them go help their country. There's quite a few of these PSAs around, but they all just show how people are helping the US military, and after doing that with the National Guard and Reserve, they go back to their normal lives. It's on us. We can. I honestly find it strange that this PSA starts off with Casey Neistat, but this whole PSA has people that are representing the campaign. But this whole PSA has people that are representing the campaign telling us that it's on us to tell the viewer that they are to tell people when their drinks aren't safe. So yeah, this campaign's tackling the issue of people spiking other people's drinks, and that people need to speak out when they see it happen to someone's drink before something serious happens to them. It's a pretty simple PSA that just encourages the viewer to let people know when people spike others' drinks, and to make sure they're safe. Earthquake PSA A PSA that features Dwayne The Rock Johnson? <laughs> But anyways, this PSA is all about earthquakes as it first shows some random footage of some movie he's in. I don't know, there's a million fucking rock movies that seem exactly the same. But then The Rock himself is sitting in a movie set talking to the viewer about earthquakes and that what you see in movies is one thing, but what you see in real life is a completely different thing. The Rock then explains that just because you can't predict when earthquakes will happen doesn't mean you can't prepare for one, as The Rock gives the viewer the advice of drop, cover, and hold on. I know that this would have been and probably still is a big issue in America, and hey, it's just a simple and well done PSA. 
Matches. Matches is a 30 second long PSA released in 2019 all about lung cancer. In the PSA, we see a set of lungs made out of matches as the narrator talks about You quit smoking and thought, that's that. After that, the matches on the lungs start to light up as the narrator talks about Here's the thing about lung cancer. By the time you see the symptoms, it could be too late. We see the lungs burnt out, but then they go back to how they were at the start of the PSA as the narrator talks about how But now there's a new scan that can detect lung cancer early. And they encourage people that have just quit at smoking to go and get a scan. Prevent Child Abuse A series of three different PSAs released sometime in the 90s or 2000s, as they all show something as a narrator talks about the normal use of these things and what people expect from them. Then a narrator says something else, such as To someone else, it's a place to make a kid shut up and listen. To someone else, it's a place to teach a child a lesson you'll never forget. Or basically just hurt or traumatize them. The whole point of the PSAs is for people to do something about the massive issue before it starts or whenever they can. Small Step Campaign Smallstep.gov is a PSA campaign from AdCancel that encourages people to change ways they do things in their life for their health. All the PSAs follow different scenarios where people find body parts. All the PSAs follow different scenarios where people find parts of the body that seem to be overweight, such as stomach, hips, double chin, and even those fat ass cheeks. I'm pretty sure this was only in 2004, but I may be wrong. They basically use the ideas to stay healthy that are on the website and make a PSA out of it to convince people to do some of those steps. Do you still like me? This is a 2003 PSA about the fair housing campaign I talked about earlier. And in this PSA, we walk into an apartment room where someone's sitting down saying, let's play a game. The man then goes on to say, Let's pretend for a moment. You own an apartment building and I want to rent from you. They then go on to say that, I have a steady job. And make a good salary and have a good credit history. Would you rent your place to me? Then he changes into a different person of a different race and then says, How about now? He then keeps changing into different people of different races, asking if your opinion is the same or as it's changed. He didn't ask things like, Or a last name that sounds foreign. What if I have a disability? What if I'm a single parent? As he asks again if you'd steer him away. The narrator then says that, the Fair Housing Act protects your right to live where you want. The Boss The Boss is a PSA made in collaboration with the company That's Harassment, and it's all about workplace harassment. In this PSA, it follows a boss played by David Schwimmer, and a worker played by Zazzy Beats. There's a full version of this PSA where the boss can't figure something out, so the worker fixes it for them, then they obviously chat for a little, and then the boss comments about their earrings and goes in for a kiss. Obviously, she's not comfortable with that at all, and he tries to act like it wasn't a bad thing that he was doing. The PSA ends with a text, if you're a victim of harassment or assault, or you know someone who is, ring 1-800-656-HOPE. This is one of a few different PSAs, but in the other PSAs that take place in different places, such as like in a shop and at the doctors and stuff like that. Science of Childhood Trauma A 30 second PSA from 2016 has a narrator talking about the science of childhood trauma and how it works in the brain. They talk about how the more neural connections are created in regions of the brain that involve fear, anxiety, and impulsiveness. Then they say that the The good news is the young brain is malleable and fostering stable, supportive relationships can prevent or help reverse this damage. And that you can learn about changing minds through their sight. Unique. This is another PSA released in 2016 that is for changing kids' minds, but this one centers around someone talking about how no one should have to go through all the fights and violence that happens in the world. They talk about how one of their friends was stabbed and other horrible things that really impact young minds and make them more aggressive. Another person then says that the kids have something to say but aren't being listened to, as we see the text saying that your everyday gestures can help them heal. Then after that, the changing minds image comes up at the end. Journey. Journey is a 2013 PSA that follows a bottle as it travels around to different places. The bottle keeps rolling around different places as someone is talking about the bottle, saying, he called me a piece of trash and swore that's all I'd ever be. At the end, the narrator says, But I didn't listen. As the dog rolls the bottle along until someone comes up and puts it in the recycling bin, and the narrator says, And now, I am what I've always wanted to be. As we see the bottles recycled into a bench. Hashtag do the vape talk. A PSA released in 2022, oh god, I was literally about to say 2023 because this year only just started. But in this PSA, it has a dad talking to the viewer about how kids are vaping and they can't let it happen to their kid. His dad talks about how it's awkward to talk to your kids about the dangers of vaping, so instead he decides to take different approaches to get their attention to talk to them, 
about it until he gets the fucking backpack kid to do a TikTok dance with him to try and get his daughter's attention. I be I be the daughter asks why he's here and then joins in with them to do one of the most cringeworthy dances I have seen because they floss. This is literally the kind of shit that Eddie Burback talked about in his Truth video where he talked about Truth's TikTok PSAs. This is really cringe. But after that, they show the dad and daughter just talking about it, which really... This PSA would have just been much better if they showed the dad getting the daughter's attention by just asking them to talk instead of this. <laughs> Stroke Awareness. Stroke Awareness is a 2000s PSA where a man walks up to a guy sitting down asking how's it going. Then we see the man that asked the question has an arrow in his chest and after that, the man sitting down asks if he's okay. Obviously, the arrow in his chest is a metaphor for signs of a stroke, and at the end of the PSA, a narrator says, You wouldn't ignore this, so why ignore the signs of a stroke? Honestly, a pretty smart PSA that really gets the point across that you should pay attention to the signs of a stroke. No Extra Life No Extra Life is a 2020 PSA where a man's walking into his house, as we see the point of view looks like a video game with a map and a chat on screen. And the chat is literally just like subtitles of what is being said in the PSA. The man's walking around the house to try and find out what's going on, and then realizes that the gun is gone from his drawer. But he then realizes that his son has a gun in the bathroom, so he rushes to the bathroom calling out his son's name whilst banging on the door. Then the text, with gun, there is no extra life, comes up on the screen, and we still hear the man desperately trying to get into the bathroom. People really hate this PSA. And the main thing I personally don't like about it is the voice acting, Especially at the end, it almost sounds like he's laughing. I don't know if it's just me, it's just shitty acting. The PSA is actually unlisted from YouTube because of the backlash, but I think showing this as a video game is kind of stupid and they could have had a better approach with this. Opioid Addiction PSAs This is a series of PSAs released in 2018, made in collaboration with Truth Orange, a company I have talked about way too many times now. But from what I could find, this is a series of four PSAs where people tell their stories about their addiction to opioids and the things they did to get back on opioids. One person intentionally crashed their car, someone broke their hand with a hammer, another slammed a door on their arm, and the last person dropped a car on themselves, and they all did that just to get back on opioids. These are actually pretty solid PSAs that just visualize the stories people are telling about the things they did to get back on opioids. There's actually a fifth opioids PSA as well, but instead of the approach of the other PSAs, this one decides to show the videos of a person named Rebecca while she's on an opioid withdrawal for three days and a full three days is shown in the public in New York. This PSA in particular has two 30 second cut down versions of it, but the full thing is six and a half minutes long. I actually like the approach of the Rebecca PSA more than the other four opioids PSAs. This honestly just makes me mad because I know Truth can make good PSAs, but 99% of the time they just don't. Play Place. A 30 second 2018 PSA shows an adult mother climbing through a play place to get to their daughter. We see her struggle to get through the play place, and then we see them still trying to get through as a narrator comes in to say, If you love them enough to crawl into a play place to get them to come down, then surely you'll check NHTSA.gov. I don't know much to say about this PSA. It's just what you see is what you get. Buzz the Warning Signs. Buzz the Warning Signs is a PSA campaign that aired in 2019 to make sure people are aware of the signs of someone being too intoxicated to drive. In the most popular one about American football playoffs, they do this by having people watching an American football game at a bar. One of the men sitting down on the couch says that when they're too buzzed, they're on their phone, so they miss what happened in the game. Apparently this is a sign of someone being too intoxicated to drive. Then the man behind him grabs his phone as the man sitting down gets up to get his phone. The text, buzz driving is drunk driving comes up. What is this PSA saying? For real, wouldn't it be a better idea that he has his phone so he can get an Uber home instead of trying to drive home? Seatbelt. A 1999 PSA where a couple is in bed and the lady asks if their partner can get up and get some ice cream. The man gets up to check to see if they have any in the freezer, but they don't, so they have to get their keys and go to the store to get some. As the man's going out to drive and get some ice cream, a narrator is saying, Some things you just can't do without. It happens every night, all across America. After he says that the man's reversing out of his driveway, and as he's about to drive forward, a car crashes head on with his before he even got his seatbelt on. The text, didn't see that coming, no one ever does, comes up on screen. Tier 4. John Bon Jovi PSA A short 10 second PSA featuring the well known artist Bon Jovi talks to the viewer about how if you are living on the streets, you should ring the Covenant House phone number because the streets are tougher than you are. Just a really short PSA encouraging people to ring them if they are homeless. Elvin and the Chipmunks Smokey Bear PSA 
Alfred and the Chipmunks have a PSA released in the 70s, and in this PSA, Dave is trying to get the Chipmunks to help Smokey Bear out by recording a PSA for him. Instead of recording the PSA, Alvin fucks shit up by screaming like an idiot, and at one point spraying Dave with a hose because they're trying to recreate the sound of a waterfall. But then the Chipmunks say Smokey's ABCs with the first three letters of the alphabet, starting a sentence about things to do to prevent forest fires. Rocky and Bullwinkle Smokey Bear PSA Fun fact, this one was actually before the Alvin and Chipmunks PSA, as this one was released in 1969. But in this PSA, we see Bullwinkle in a forest as he's reading a script for a Smokey Bear PSA. Just the same plot as the Elvin the Chipmunks PSA, but this time Bullwinkle actually just does the PSA and that's it. Rocky doesn't even show up in this PSA, it's just Bullwinkle reading the PSA. Ooh, I'm gonna read one for Smokey Bear. I don't know if that was a good impression. Billy Eilish PSA. Yeah, Billy Eilish even had a PSA with ad cancel. And this one in particular was released in 2019, where it's all about mental health as Billy just talks about her experience with her mental health journey. She does give some good advice about how people shouldn't be afraid to ask for help, and that you aren't weak for asking for it. It's about three minutes long and hey, it's a solid PSA. Sometimes just having a celebrity talk about their experiences with the issue or just addressing the issue and being honest about it is all you need. The Awkward Silence Hello everybody, my name is Margaret Blair. Holy shit, it's really him! But in this PSA released in 2018, it shows people being awkward as they seem too awkward to say something. We even see another YouTuber, Tyler Oakley. But after the awkward silences from many different people, we see them all say something asking questions about someone's mental health. So yeah, this PSA basically encourages the viewer to not be afraid to ask questions to their friends about their mental health if they don't seem to be okay. The PSA ends with the text, reach out to a friend who might be struggling with their mental health. And hey, that's a good message for viewers to preach. Alberto Del Rio PSA Alberto Del Rio is a former WWE wrestler and was a part of the WWE at the time this PSA was aired in 2015. In the PSA, we see Alberto go around and say, Behold the angry giant to the big show first as he shakes his head no. And then he does the same thing to Kane, and Kane just gets shitty and walks away. He then says it again, and then says it for a fourth time as he's reading a story to his child in bed. The text that only takes a moment to make a moment comes up, obviously telling fathers to spend more time with their children. Organ Donor PSA The 90s PSA obviously about organ donors, and in this PSA we see someone fall through thin ice into ice cold water as someone sees this and starts to run over. A narrator is talking about Someone out there needs help, and you've decided to save them. Then we see the man in the PSA with rope running, and then he makes it and throws the rope for him to grab it. The narrator keeps talking, but talks about how thousands die waiting for organ transplants they need to stay alive. And if you're an organ donor, you should tell your family. But the PSA ends when the narrator says, Otherwise it's like throwing a 12 foot rope to someone who's 15 feet away. Then the text, share your life, share your decision, comes up on the screen. Child Prevention PSAs These are PSAs that were released in 1976, all about preventing child and there are two PSAs, one called Prisoners and one called Memories. In Prisoners, we see a man in prison as the narrator says, You are looking at an abused child. We see more faces behind bars as the narrator goes on about how Most men and women in prison today were abused children. Then the narrator says that there are at least a million cases of child in America every year as we see plenty of people in prison cells and that child can be a cycle and they want to stop it. In Memories, we see a person walking around a house as the narrator says Something's wrong. For last year in the United States, an estimated one million children suffered needlessly. At the end of the PSA, the narrator says, But it doesn't have to be. For more information on child abuse and how you can help, write Prevent Child Abuse, Box 2866, Chicago, Illinois, 60690. Tightrope. Tightrope is an 80s PSA where we see a woman walking on a tightrope as they're saying about how Full term and premature between healthy and sick. This keeps going on and then says that Don't put your baby's health on the line. Take care of yourself so you can take care of your baby. So they encourage you to get prenatal care early for your baby as it's the best step you can take to ensure that your baby is healthy. The TV Boss A 2009 PSA where a man's sitting in his living room with someone else that looks like a junkie. But the man thanks him for stopping by and says that he's a fan of his work in a certain show, but his drug use is too adult for the kids, so he has to block him. The man walks out of the room as the junkie says, Yeah, nice lady. We then see the text, Be the boss of what your kids watch. Why would young kids be watching any material with heavy drug use anyways? Video Boy Video Boy is a late 90s PSA where someone's playing video games in a strangely lit room. They end up celebrating because they did something in their game, but they end up getting tired pretty quickly like they're 300 kilos or something. Like literally, they're celebrated for like, what, 5 seconds and they're already tired? 
that literally don't even move much, but they get puffed out so easily. And then a narrator comes in to ask, Exercise lately. As we see the text get up, get out, shop on screen. Obesity Prevention Sesame Street PSA. This Sesame Street PSA has a character named Luis with Elmo as they're both jogging in the spot. Luis talks to us about how as a parent, you should make sure your kids are doing physical activity and they're eating right to make sure they're healthy and have healthy habits. Louise then says that it's the small things that make the biggest difference with yours and your children's health. And then Elmo says it's nap time as he falls asleep under Louise's arm. Tier 5. Cookie Monster PSA. You can really tell how old this PSA is just by looking at the quality of it. But in this PSA, we see a Cookie Monster at a table as a narrator asks if they're going to eat cookies. Cookie Monster then says no as he pulls out different healthy foods such as meats, vegetables and fruits. Until after Cookie Monster drinks milk, he gets a whistle on a plate. The narrator is obviously confused, so he confusingly says a whistle, and Cookie Monster says that it gives him strong lungs. And after blowing the whistle, he says cookies as a bulldozer tips a bunch of cookies on Cookie Monster. 55 saves lives. In 1977, PSA talks to the viewer about how 55 miles per hour saves lives, and they do this by starting off the PSA with a narrator saying, Per hour, you save gasoline, which is real money these days. At 55, you save yourself troubles you really don't need. The narrator then gets to the main reason, and that's because... Saves lives. Since 1974, 55 has been the single biggest factor in reducing highway deaths. As it's the main reason why less people are dying on the roads at the time, and apparently reducing the amount of deaths by 36,000 people. Babysitter. Oh boy. So Ad Cancel really thought it was a good idea to collaborate with Autism Speaks, hey? But in this 2000s PSA, we see a mother as they're going to leave the babysitter with her daughter, as the mother tells her that she has left all the details that she needs around. Narrator then says, The odds of a babysitter calling 911, 1 in 1400. The odds of a child being diagnosed with autism, 1 in 150. This surprisingly isn't a terrible PSA, but not a good one. All I can ask though is, what does babysitting have to do with autism? Did they literally just use this just to have a comparison? SUV. A 2009 PSA follows a family in a car as one of them in the car smells something funny and the narrator talks about passing gas. Everyone hates the smell and they all cover their noses and this is how the PSA ends. Kids shouldn't be exposed to secondhand smoke. Don't pass gas, take it outside. Yeah, man didn't shit his pants, he was just smoking in the car and honestly, I understand why they would cover their nose for that too. Cigarettes fucking stink. American car. American Car is a 1975 PSA where people would dance to a car with an American flag on it as they get in the car. The whole PSA has people talk to the camera encouraging people to carpool as less people are on the road when people carpool and the songs being sung throughout the PSA about carpooling. Did there really need to be a PSA about carpooling? I sure as hell don't think so, but hey, obviously Ad Cancel thought in the 70s that they needed to do that. Big Daddy This is really strange, a PSA with fucking Godzilla in it. Yes, this is real. But we see Godzilla spending time with their child as the song My Best Friend from BG Studios is playing. But the footage we see on screen is from the 1967 Godzilla film called Son of Godzilla. And in this clip we see Godzilla's having fun with their son. This is until the narrator comes in saying you don't need to be bigger than life to be a good dad. You just need to spend time with your kids. So that was the ad cancel iceberg explained. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and hey I thought this would be something different compared to doing a deep dive into the company like I did with Montana Meth Project and stuff like that as I said earlier in the video. If you did enjoy the video though please make sure to give it a like and let me know what you thought about the video in the comments. Also consider subscribing if you enjoyed my content as it does help me out a lot. Anyways let's just go straight into the shoutouts. Massive shout out to Diamond Pony, Madeline Stringer, Miranda S and Ash Crimson for sign to my $2 pirate tee. Massive thanks to Elliot, Angie Patterson and Juliet Wakefield for signing up to my $5 Pusha tee. Massive thanks to Sam M1994 for signing up to my $10 Pee Wee Herman tee. And lastly, a massive shout out to Fatima for supporting my $25 Pee Wee Herman tee.